want to turn now to the powerful winter storm moving along the eastern seaboard. Cities are bracing for blizzard conditions and hurricane force wind gusts that could knock out power to millions. CBS's Lonnie Quinn joins us now. Good evening, Lonnie. Good evening, Nora. You're right. The seaboard is prepared for a big storm, but right now it's not there. If you look at the radar picture, a little bit of snow like around Kentucky, but I showed you yesterday where we believe this was going to emerge somewhere off the coast of the southeast, and it was going to travel offshore, affecting the big coastal cities. 70% chance it stayed offshore. There was a 30% chance it could come closer to shore and put bigger numbers for the bigger, more inland cities. But today, the best projection is it's going to kind of split the difference. So let me show you how that looks on the, the computer models. You put this into motion, and you're going to see that it ramps up all the while once it hits that energy from the Atlantic Ocean. So by the time you get to 1 o'clock on Saturday, you've got heavy snow coming down, two inches an hour, anywhere from Boston to the east end of Long Island. And the snow totals are looking like this. Not a big change from where we were yesterday. Philadelphia, three inches. New York City, around six inches or so. Hartford, a foot or more. And then Boston, south of Boston, two feet or more. And if you think the northerners can escape to Florida for warmth and, and get away from the storm, they'll escape the storm. But it's 31 Sunday morning in Orlando, sub-freezing around Disney World. That's the way we see it, Nora. It's all yours. Lonnie Quinn, thank you.